<laughs> Simple rules for finding value of equation. Here the value of finding in equation may be variable and so simple rules that can be followed while calculating certain rules and regulations. Simple rules for equation. Equation may be different, verbal or simple. So to find any equation, value of any equation, let's see some of the rules that shall be followed in our secondary level education. See here one number. If A W plus B W equal A square minus B square. If our given equation comes as A W plus B W equal A square minus B square. In place of A W, B W, it may be any number as equal A square minus B square. Here also comes any number. Then what W equal what? Then what will be the value of W? Here here comes in solution here a w plus b w equal a square minus b square or w a plus b here w is taken common from this both here w is taken common and rest is a plus b equal a plus b a minus b here this comes in formula a square minus b square we have formula a plus b a minus b this is our formula as per formula we have expanded this so therefore W equal, w equal w equal a plus b a minus b this comes as per formula a plus b a minus b here comes on upon a plus b a minus b by upon a plus b this a plus b comes in bottom as in form of division in the form of division it comes and now here up and down see here a plus b a plus b this is similar here this will be cancelled and the rest is a minus b only equal a minus b and this will be a minus b will be the value of w in this way if given a in given a given equation we can easily find value of w in this process this is formula this is simple rules now see next rule next next here given if a q minus b q equal a square minus b square then q equal what in this also we can apply same process as as before we applied here here see a q minus b q here given in the question a q minus b q equal a square minus b square here from this we we can take common b b is same here here also b here also b so b shall be taken as common a minus b equal here again we shall expand this a square minus b square as per formula formula as per formula it comes a plus b a minus b therefore q equal a plus b a minus b by a minus b now a minus b a minus b here up and down is cancelled and comes only equal a plus b this a plus b so value of q is a plus b only in this these these two are the sum of the simple rules by which equation can be solved and we can find the our required value equation solution compilation by Ajit Thakur. See here some of the more solutions of verbal equation. Here problem number. Problem number see here you can see here problem number given as 396 upon A. The problem number given 396 upon a. in this question here given given some of the uh, steps that shall be find out here given 396 upon a that two years hence a father will be six times as old as his son here two year hence means two two year later two year later here father will be father will be six times as old as his son father will be six six times as old as his son similarly next year three years ago father was five times as old as his son will be two years it means that three years ago three years before father was five times five times as old as father will be two years later will be two years later hence hence means two years later find the present is of father and son to solve this to solve to get to solve this age problem we shall 
uh, represent this as per our uh, as per our as per situations let's 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 father is b x years son is b y years from the first condition we can see that here if father is b x year and son is b y year then from the condition of the question from first condition of the question we can easily write that x plus 2 here 2 year hence means x plus 2 x plus 2 equals 6 times 6 times as old as his son it means um, x plus 2 equals 6 into y plus 2 so son is y years old so y plus 2 into 6 father is x year old so x plus 2 or again we can make this equation little bit simple so that our calculation shall be easy or x plus 2 equals 6y plus 2 bell or x minus 6y equals 10 in this way we make this equation simple as x minus 6y equal 10 let this be equation first from the second condition of the question we can easily write here second question second condition of the question we can see here x minus 3 it means here 3 years ago x minus 3 means 3 years ago x minus 3 father 5 times x minus 3 father minus is of father minus 3 years x minus 3 equal 5 times means 5 into y plus 2 will be 2 years hence means y plus 2 now again here make this equation little bit simple so that our calculation shall be easy or x minus 3 equal 5y plus 10 this comes as this equation comes as x minus 3 equal 5y plus 10 means this 5 has been multiplied with this y plus 2 or x minus 5y equal 13 let this be equation 2 from now solving equation 1 and 2 from first equation and second equation we can easily solve our equation to get value of father and son it means s of father and son value of x and y here see first equation is about x minus 6y equal 10 here x minus 6y equal 10 and next equation is x minus 5y equal 13 you can see from here x minus 6y equal 10 and next equation is x minus 5y equal 13 from these two equation we can solve here x x keep here sine sine will be changed here lower equation sine of lower equation shall be changed as a plus should be changed into minus minus that will change into plus as sine of um, x has been changed as minus uh, this 5y plus and again 13 minus so plus minus x is cancelled and here 6y plus 5y means minus y equal minus 3 minus 13 minus 13 plus 10 is minus 3 here minus minus again cancel therefore y equal 3 putting the value of y in equation 1 putting the value of y in equation 1 then x minus 6y equal 10 or x minus 6 into 3 equal 10 it means here value of y is 3 so 6 into 3 equal 10 or x minus 18 equal 10 here 6 into 3 is 18 or x minus 18 equal 10 therefore x equal 28 present as a father is 28 years and son is 3 years in this way we can easily say that at present is of father is x year it means present is of father is present is of father is 28 years and here present is of son is y years so son is 3 years old as here value of y is 3 so son is 3 years old in this way we have completed this equation let's see next about 396 upon b we are given one year hence a father will be five times as old as his son four years ago father was three times as old as his son will be in four years hence find the present age of father and son now as per demand of question as question demand us let's uh, begin our question and, and solve this easily here let father is b x year from this question to solve this question we should make first equation as per question situation see here let's father is b x year and son present is b y years from first condition first condition of our question says that one year hence means x plus one x plus one equal 
5 times 5 times as well as this one it means 5 into y plus 1 to now for our calculation to make our calculation easy we should make this equation a little bit simple so that our calculation will be easy or x plus 1 equal 5 into y 5y plus 5 into 1 5 5y plus 5 therefore x minus 5y equal 4 now all this i y changes itself and plus one also changes itself in this way comes x minus 5 y uh, 5 minus 1 is 4 so x minus 5 y equal 4 now let this be equation 1 again from next condition from second condition given us x minus from second condition see here 4 years ago that given us 4 years ago this means x minus 4 equal 3 times as old as his son 3 into y plus 4 here first here 4 is subtracted as x minus 4 they are given 4 years ago 4 years ago means 4 is subtracted and again here it here will be 4 years hence 4 years hence again here 4 is sub added so it comes x minus 4 equal 3 into y plus 4 now make this equation a little bit simple so that our calculations shall be easy x minus 4 equal 3y plus 2 bell or x minus 3y equal 16 now making this equation simple our equation becomes as x minus 3y equal 16 let, no, let this be equation 2 first equation we got that x minus 5y equal 4 let this is our first equation and x minus 3y equals 16 this is our second equation from these two equation we can easily get the age of father and son see here more here from solving equation one here solving equation one and two solving equation one and two we can easily get the value of fathers and is of father and is of son now see here first equation our first equation is x minus 5y equal 4 and our second equation is x minus 3y equal 16 you can see here x minus 3y equal 16 this is our second equation put this at in below here x minus 3y equal 16 now sign shall be changed to calculate to find the value of unknown factor in our given equation here now sign of x shall be changed as minus and sign of minus 3y shall be changed as plus plus 16 shall be changed as minus now here 5y plus minus 3 plus 3y is minus 2y equal minus 2 by therefore y equal 6 here 2 is 2 divide 2 by it comes 6 here minus minus is cancelled and 2 divide 2 by is 6 therefore y equal 6 putting the value of y in equation 1 again here putting the value of y in equation 1 x minus 5 into 6 equal 4 equation 1 equation 1 or equation 2 we can put as per our which is as you as we need we can put if we put the value of y in equation 1 it comes x equal 34 and if we put the value of y in equation 2 then again the value of x will be 34 value of x will be same as we see here putting the value of y in equation 1 x minus 5 into 6 equal 4 it means here 5 y means 5 into 6 here value of y is 6 so 5 into 6 equal 4 or x equal now 5 into 6 30 now side is changed 30 plus 4 in therefore x equal 34 in this way we can easily say that the age of father we let in the beginning we let in the beginning that we assume in the beginning we assume in the beginning that age of father is s and age of son is son is y therefore we can easily see there here present age of father and son here present age of father and son are 34 years and 6 years respectively in this x equal 34 is age of father and y equal 6 is age of son in this way we completed this second question also Question number 396 upon C. Given here, this is also from our verbal equation. It means assumption shall be done here to find the value of to find the value. 
here given present is of two brothers are 15 years and 22 years here is has already been given 15 years and 22 years after how many years the product of their age will be 408 years it means product of 15 years and 22 years the age will be 408 years and in how many years how long time will take so that the product of their is product of their is will be 480 years now see here let's find let's find the value let's find the number of is to get the value of num is to to get the value of years number of years to get the value of numbers of years we should assume some of the things here let here here let in x year the product of the age will be 408 years it means our assumption we assume x year old it means our assumption is x year to get the product of is product of is product of is will be 408 years we can also write as as per our question here x 15 plus x into 22 plus x equal 400 years here product of both brother is now product of these two 15 years and 22 years shall be done here now number of is is x here we assume number of is number of years numbers of years shall be added here on 15 and numbers of years shall be again added on 22 and again this both both shall be multiplied to get 408 now here 15 plus x and 22 plus x both shall be multiplied to get value to get 408 and this will be done as per rules simple rules of equation finding basis see here now this both shall be multiplied now see here 15 into 22 is 330 now 15 into x 15x plus x into 22 22x plus x into x x squared equal 408 or x squared comes ahead here this x squared bring this ahead x squared plus 37x means 22x plus 15x is 37x or more shall be for that 330 minus 408 which comes 78 equal 0 minus 78 now this comes in the form of our simple expression now x squared plus 37x minus 78 equals 0 this shall be now factorized to get the value of x here it will be difficult to get the value of x to get the value of x we shall factorize this factorization shall be done to get the value of x to factorize this expression to factorize this expression now this middle one 37 shall break into two part to get the value of x now see here x squared plus 39 x minus 2 x minus 78 equals 0 it means 39 minus 2 is 37 and 37 here given in this way we break 37 into two parts that is 39 x minus 2 x minus 78 equals 0 in this way now we can make our uh, problem easy and we can solve simply here given we made this middle one 37 into two parts 39 x minus 22 x minus 78 equals 0 now x is taken common or here yeah, x is taken common from this both x x plus 39 x plus 39 and 2 is common taken from here minus 2 x plus 39 equals 0 now here x plus 39 x plus 39 is similar bring it ahead rest is x minus 2 x minus 2 here equals 0 from this expression we get two factor of this expression first factor is our x plus 39 and second factor is x minus 2 equals 0. Now from these two we can easily get the value of x. Here from first factor, from first factor we can say that x equal minus 39. But the number of years, numbers of year shall not be in minus. So if our value of x is in minus, that should be neglected, it means it is impossible. From our next factor, x minus 2 equals 0, therefore x equal 2. Now 2 is in positive, so 2 is our right answer. It means thus in 2 years their product, in 2 years their products of is 
of age will be 408 years. It means here about this 15 years and 22 years. After two years, after two years, the product of this 15 years and 22 years, our age will be 408 years. It means our required solution is two years old, two years. And this is our answer. 396 upon A, given here 396 upon A, given our question, sum of age of father and son is 44 years. Here, sum of age of father and son is 44 years. After 8 years, the age of father will be twice as old as the age of son. Find their percent age. Now, to solve this question, we should assume certain factor. Let's see here. Here, let's, the present age of father and his son are x years and y years. It means present age of father is x years and present age of son is y years respectively. x years and y years respectively. Then we can easily say that from our first condition. From our first condition, we can easily say that sum of their age is 44 years. It means x plus y equals 44 years. Now this equation is in simple form that we can simply let this, let this equation be equation number 1. Now from second case here, from second case given us x plus 8, it means after 8 years, after 8 years means x plus 8 equal twice, double, twice as old as son, it means 2 into y plus 8. Now make this equation a little bit simple, x minus 2y equal 8, here x minus 2y equal 8, in this way we make this equation simple, in this way 2y, 2y is changes its size minus 2y and this 8 is uh, again subtracted so here x minus 2y equal 8 let this be equation 2 from these two equation equation first that first equation is x plus y equal 44 and our second equation is x minus 2y equal 8 this is our second equation from this both equation we can easily get the value of x and y it means age of son and age of father by solving equation 1 and 2 by solving equation 1 and 2 let's see Solving equation 1 and 2, see here. Our first equation say that x plus y equal 44. In beginning, we see that first equation is our x plus y equal 44 years. And second equation comes as x minus 2y equal 8. Now, from simple rules, we can easily solve this both equation. On solving this both equation, we get that 3y equal 36. Now, 3 is divide, 3 divided 36 comes to back. Therefore, y equal 2 back. Putting the value of y in 1, we get half. If we put the value of y in equation 1 or 2, we will get the value of x. Now here see in putting the value of y in equation 1. See here, x plus y equal 44 or x plus 2 bell. 2 bell is the value of y, y equal 2 bell. So x plus 2 bell equal 44. Therefore, x equal 44 minus 2 bell is 32. Therefore, value of x is value of x is 32 and value of y is 2 bell. It means present age of father and son are 32 years and 2 bell years respectively. It means value of x equal 32 years is the age of father and y equal 2 bell years is age of son. In this way, we can easily calculate the age of father and son. Our question number 397 upon b. Here 397 upon B given our question. Six years ago a man is what? Six times the age of his son. Four years hence, thrice his age will be equal to eight times his son is. What are their percent is? Here given here is problem of son and a man. Man and a son is problem given here as a verbal question. To get the value of is to get the value of is that son is and father is to get value we shall make certain assumption to make our calculation easy here assume that here let man's present is equal x years 
and sun percent s equal y here if we assume that man percent s is x years old and sun percent s is y years old in this way after this assumption x and y using this x and y we can easily get the value of value of their s six from first condition we can say that from first condition six years ago a man was six times it means here six years ago man is equal x minus six years and six years ago sons is equal y minus six years simply we can say that six years ago man is equal x minus six percent it is x so six years ago means six years back x minus six and son is same thing six years ago son is equal y minus six son is this y so y minus six is six years ago now from first condition we can see that x minus six six years ago means x minus six equal six times here six times of his son is it means six into y minus six now make this equation a little bit simple so that our calculation shall be easy here x minus six equal six y minus thirty six or here x minus six y equal minus thirty six plus six or x minus six y equal minus thirty now let this be equation one now from this equation our calculation will be easy and let this be equation number one x minus 6y equal minus 30 let this be equation 1 similarly our next condition given here next condition given 4 year hence 4 year hence means later now 4 shall be 4 year hence means 4 shall be added now here given again 3 into x plus 4 3 into x plus 4 equal now 8 times 3 thrice is thrice his is means man is thrice his age means man is x plus four four year hence four year hence means x four is added and thrice means three shall be multiplied x plus four four year hence four year hence means x plus four and thrice means multiply three three into x plus four equal eight times his son is it means y plus four hence four year hence means y plus four eight times son is means both shall be y plus 4 shall be multiplied with 8. Now this comes as our equation, second equation and second equation also shall be made little bit simple. Our 3x plus 2 by equal 8y plus 32. In this way 3 is multiplied with this x 3x plus 3 into 4 2 by here 8 into y 8y plus 8 into 4 32. Or 3x minus 8y. This side has been changed. 8y side has been changed comes as in the form of minus 3x minus 8y equal now 32 minus 2 bell here 2 bell is subtracted from this 32 up by changing its side 3x minus 8y equal 32 minus 2 bell or 3x minus 8y equal 20 3x minus 8y equal 20 in this way we got let this be equation number 2 in this way from this question, we assume our two equation, equation number first and equation number second, these two equations, first equation and second equation. On solving this both equation, we will easily calculate the age of father and son. See here more. Here, to solve equation first and second, there is something uh, unequal. So simple calculation on simple calculation simply calculation a shall not be find out to get to calculate our equation now equation number one shall be multiplied by three equation number one shall be multiplied by three then it becomes as 3x minus 18y equal minus 90 equation one shall be multiplied by three it means 3x minus 18y equal minus 90 and subtracting equation two from first equation we have to subtract our second equation second equation here 3x minus 8y 3x minus 8y equal 20 now from these two equations from simmons we can get the value of we can easily get our required value see here here sign shall be changed 3x changes into minus minus 8y changes into plus 
20 changes into minus. So comes here 3 plus 3 minus cancel. Now 18y minus minus 18y plus 8y comes minus 10y equal 110. This both of 1 upon 90 is minus and 20 is also minus. So both shall be added. It comes 110, 110 as minus. Now here 110 shall be divided by 10. Therefore, y equal 110 divide minus 10 equal 11. In this way, we get a value of y, y equal 11. Putting the value of y, y equal 11, putting the value of y in equation 1, or also say that y, putting y equal 11 in equation 1, we can easily get that our first equation here, x minus 6 into 11, here value of y is 11 so 6 y means 6 into 11 x minus 6 into 11 equal minus 30 or x minus 66 equal minus 30 or x equal 30 minus 30 x equal minus 30 plus 66 minus 30 plus 66 therefore x equal 36 now minus 30 plus 66 is 36 now here we get the value of y, y equal 11 and x equal 36. Now we can easily say that our, our as per as assumption, we assume that s of father is x years, this means s of present is of father is 36 years and we also assume that s of son is y years, it means s of son, son present s of son is 11 years. In this way we can say that man's present age is 36 years and son present is 11 years. In this way, we got the solution of our 397 upon C. Here 397 upon C given here. Five years ago, a man age was five times the age of his daughter. Here something changed in this question that son is changed into daughter. Now age of his daughter is daughters, three years hence. His daughter three years hence. Twice his age will be equal to six times his daughter's age. What are their percentages? Here, see here. Now, to solve this equation, to find the age problem of father and daughter, we should assume certain factor. Let's see here. Here, let the percent age of man and his daughter are x year and y year respectively. It means man percent age is x years and daughter percent is this y year. We assume this to get the value of father and daughter. From these two factors, from this our assumption, x year and y year, from this assumption, we can work, we can make our equation as per our condition of question. See here, first condition of our question. First condition of our question states that x minus 5 it means 5 years ago man was 5 times it means x minus 5 5 years ago means x minus 5 equal y minus 5 into 5 here x minus 5 5 years ago and again here father is minus 5 and here daughter is minus 5 and 5 years ago means 5 shall be subtracted from father is and daughter is both side and now 5 times it means 5 shall be multiplied now this becomes equation, now make this equation, this equation little bit simple so that our calculation shall be easy. x minus 5 equal, this 5 shall be multiplied with this 5y minus 25. 5y minus 25 or x minus 5y equal minus 20. This 5y changes its side comes as a minus x minus 5y equal minus 25 plus 5 on changing side comes minus 20. Now this um, becomes equation 1. This becomes our equation 1. Similarly, we can make our second equation from second condition. Our second condition states that, see here, second condition, twice his age will be equal to 6 times. Here it means twice 3 years hence. 3 years hence means 3 shall be added both sides on father's age and daughter's age both sides 
3 shall be added x plus 3 y plus 3 now twice the age of father means x plus 3 into 2 and 6 times the age of daughter it means here 6 shall be multiplied to daughter's age now 2 into x plus 3 equal 6 into y plus 3 now this equation shall be made little bit simple or here 2 into x 2x plus 2 into 3 6 equal 3 into y 6 into y 6y plus 6 into 3 18 or 2x minus 6y equal 18 minus 6 is 2 bad let this be equation 2 in this way from two conditions we got two equation equation first and equation second first equation is our x minus 5y equal 20 minus 20 and second equation is our 2x minus 6y equal to that. On solving this both equation, we will get the age of man and daughter. It means value of x and y. See here more. Here, on, sol on solving equation 1 into 2, it means our first equation is x minus 5y equal minus 2. This equation shall be multiplied with 2. To make our calculation easy. Now here if 2 is multiplied with this equation it always comes 2x into 5 into 2 10y equal 20 into 2 40. So it becomes 2x minus 10y equal minus 40. 2x minus 10y equal minus 40 and next equation shall be kept as usual. It means 2x minus 6y equal 2 bad. Here 2x minus 6y equal 2 bad. To calculate, we should change this sign. Now 2x <coughs> sign shall be changed into minus. Now minus 6y change into plus. Now 2 bad into minus. Now we can make our calculation. 2x, 2x is cancelled. Now minus 10y plus 6y is minus 4y equal. Now minus 40 minus 2 bad is 50 minus 52. Now this minus 4 shall be divided, shall divide 52. Therefore, x equal 13. Therefore, x equal 13. On putting the value of y in equation 1, now this value of y shall be kept into equation 1. Now put this value of y in equation 1, see here. If we will put the value of y in equation 1, then it, become, it will become that x minus 5 into 13 equal minus 20. Here comes x minus 5y equal 20. It means or x minus 5 into 13 equal minus 20. Or x equal minus 20 plus 65. It means 13 into 5 is 65. So on changing side of 65, it comes as plus. So minus 20 plus 65. Therefore, x equal minus 20 plus 65 is 45. Therefore, x equal 45. In this way, we get the value of x and y on solving equation 1 and 2. Then we can easily say that age of man, means man age is 45 years and age of daughter, daughter age is 13 years. In this way, we can say that their present age are, their present age are means father age and daughter age. Their present age means father age and daughter age are 45 years and 13 years respectively. We got our required solution. P97 upon D. Uh, given our question, 397 upon D. A year hence, a father will be five times as old as his son. Two years ago, father was three times as old as his son will be four years hence. Find the present case. Here, given us our verbal problem of age problem verbal equation in this to solve this question to get the age of father and son we should make certain equation we should assume we should suppose we should assume we should suppose here suppose father present is equal x years and son present is equal y years it means we assume that is of present is of father is x year 
and present as of sound is y here. From these two assumptions, from these two assumptions, we should make our equation as per case, as per condition, as per condition given in our question. Now see here, first case means first condition of our question. Here given a year hence means x plus one. A year hence means x plus one equal five times. Five times means y plus one into five. Y plus one into five. Now make this equation a little bit simple. Or x plus one equal five y plus five. Five into y, five y plus five into one, five. Or x minus five y. Here side changes of five y comes into minus x minus five y equal five minus this one four. Comes as x minus five y equal four. Let this be equation one. Now okay again. As per second condition, as per second situation of our question, see here, according to question, x minus 2, this is our second condition, according to question, here, x minus 2, it means here, 2 years ago, 2 years ago means x minus 2, x minus 2 equal 3, no, 3 times as old as the sun will be 4 years hence, 4 years hence means y plus 4, 3 times, 3 is multiplied. So comes here x minus 2 equal 3 into y plus 4. x minus 2 equal 3 into y plus 4. Or x minus 2 equal 3y plus 2 back. x minus 2 equal 3y plus 2 back. Or x minus 3y equal 14. Here equation as per second equation, second condition, second case, we made same um, uh, equation x minus 2 equal 3 into y plus 4. Now this equation shall be made little bit simple. To make this equation simple, see here x minus 2 equal 3y plus 2 bar or x minus 3y equal 14. Let this be equation 2. Here from first equation x minus 5y equal 4 is our first equation and second equation comes x minus 3y equal 14. From these two equations, we will get the value of x and y. It means a is of father and a is of son. See here more. Here, subtracting 1 from equation 2 means here, second equation is x minus 3y equal 14. From this equation, we will subtract our first equation. First equation here given. Now this equation, now this equation, now first equation, now this equation shall be subtracted from our this second equation. Now second equation is x minus 3y equal 14 and first equation is x minus 5y equal 4. Now this equation shall be subtracted from this our second equation to get the value of x and y. Here upper one is our second equation x minus 3y equal 14 and our first equation is x minus 5y equal 4. Now sign shall be changed on subtracting. To subtract, we should always change the sign of bottom. Now x shall be kept minus minus 5y as a plus and plus 4 as a minus. So x x cancel on keeping minus. Now minus 3y plus 5y is 2y equal. Now 14 minus 4 is 10. Now this 2 divide this 10. It means y equal 10 upon 2. 10 divided 2 equal 5. It means value of y is 5. Putting the value of y in equation 1. Putting the value of y in equation 1, we get we get the value. We get we get here x, x minus 5y equal 4. x minus 5y equal 4 or x minus 5 into 5 equal 4 x into 5 into 5 equal 4 or x equal 25 plus 4 equal 29. In this way, we get the value of x and y. It means is of father and son. Here, present is of father. We assume that x here, it means x is here 29 years. So, present is of father is 29 years and present we assume Present s of son as y, so son present s equal 5 years. In this way, we get our required s.
from second condition C here, second condition given that four year hence, second condition given that four year hence means x minus four, four year hence means x minus four present as of equal three into y plus four, three times comes three times as well as the sum comes three times so y x minus four equal three into y plus four x minus four equal three into y plus four or x minus four equal x minus make this same equation sum of the verbal basis problem see here equation finding where there if it is given in the form of verbal equation see here given our See here, problem number 396 upon A. Here, problem number given 396 upon A. A given here. Here, problem number 396 upon A. Pro Problem number 396 upon A given here. Two year hands of father will be six times as old as his son. Three years ago, father was five times as old as his son. Will be two year. Will be two years. Hence, will be in two year. Hence, find the present age of father and son. Here given in the question that. Father will be six times as old as the son. Son of S will be one third. It means father will be one sixth. Father will be one as old as his son. Will be six times as old as his son. Three years ago. Father's was father's was five times as old as his son. Will be two years hence. Find the present age of father and son. Here given in the question that fathers and son is problem. Now, if some of the is has given before and some of the is has given hence. So see here. Here let's father present is be x year old. Now to solve this problem, we have to assume we have to consider here let father's present is be x years and son. Present is be y years old from the first condition. From the first condition given that two year hence, two year hence father will be six time. Two year hence father will be six time. We are given from the first condition, first condition x plus two. Two year hence means x plus two equal six times. Father will be six time. Six into y plus two. Y is present is and y plus two is. 2 year hence y plus 2 into 6 x plus 2 equal 6 into y plus 2 oh, now make this equation some simple or x plus 2 equal now 6 is multiplied with y plus 2 comes y 6y plus 2 bar 6y plus 2 bar here 6 into 2 is 2 bar 6y plus 2 bar or x minus 6y here x minus 6y this 6y comes this side x minus 6y equal 2 bell minus 2 yes 2 comes this side 2 bell minus 2 comes here x minus 6y equal 10 let it be equation first this is our first equation now from second condition second condition see here from second condition second condition given that three years ago it means before three years ago here Three years ago means here x minus three. Three years ago means x minus three equal five times. Five times as old as his son will be two years. Hence, it means x minus three equal five into y plus two. Here two year hence two year hence means y plus two. Two year hence means y plus two and five times five times is five is multiplied with y plus two. Now. Make this equation 
also little bit simple so that our calculation shall be easy x minus 3 equal 5 into y plus 2 or x minus 3 equal 5y plus 10 here 5 into y 5y plus 10 or x minus 5y equal 13 here 5 is replaced its side changes its side 5y changes its side comes here x minus 5y and 10 plus 3 here minus is this side minus from this side plus 10 plus 3 13 so x minus 5y equal 13 this let it be equation 2 first equation is x minus 6y equal 10 from first condition we can obtain this from second condition we obtain that second equation x minus 5y equal 13 this is our second equation and this is our first condition solving here next solving equation 1 and 2 from first equation and second equation now we have to solve this both equation to get actual is present is of sun and sun. see here solving equation 1 and 2 here x minus 6y equal 10 is first equation x minus 6y equal 10 is our first equation and our second equation is x minus 5y equal 13 x minus 5y equal 13 is our second equation now in calculating this problem let me subtraction if the equation is subtract equation subtract equation if equation is subtracted my symbol side be changed here x has plus so keep here minus now i y has minus keep here plus and 13 has plus so keep in the, in the bottom minus now plus i y x plus minus x plus minus is cancelled comes here 6y 5y so 6y is greater minus 6y is greater and plus 5y is smaller so comes here minus y equal here minus 13 is greater 10 is smaller so comes here minus 3 here minus minus is cancelled therefore y equal 3 here y equal 3 putting y equal 3 in equation 1 then now this y equal 3 shall be placed in equation 1 or 2 as our interest our as as we wish as our wish we can keep it in equation 1 or equation 2 in both equation we can keep it putting y equal 3 in equation 1 if we put it in equation 1 see here putting y equal 3 in equation 1 comes here x minus 6y equal 10 is our first equation or x minus 6 into 3 y is 3 so 6 into 3 x minus 6 into 3 equal 10 or x minus 18 6 into 3 is 18 x minus 18 equal 10 therefore x equal now this 18 is uh, changes its size and comes into form of plus 10 plus 18 is 28 therefore x equal 28 now here comes y equal 3 and x equal 28 and we have considered that let father is be x it means father is is 28 years and let son's percent is be y it means son is 3 years old in this way we have solved this is problem of father and son